what is up and welcome back to some Pixelmon. So today I figured we'd start out every episode with a vote key or a donor key. Depending on what you guys tip in streams, it depends on what crate we get. So uh, let's go ahead. From yesterday's stream, we ended up getting just enough for a donor key. So let's go ahead and get our donor key going. Uh, let's see. Ten great balls. Great. Good job. GG. Um, and a vote key. Let's see what we get from this. Five rare candies. Cool. That works for our gym badges. Awesome. So, there's been some updates to everything that's going on with the village and stuff. So, let's go ahead and hop right into it. Uh, they fixed the visual glitch that we were having. So now that's out of the way. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get out of here, mates. Chain goes far away from the spawn as we can. And then slash home. Alright, so since last time, guys, if you guys look for my name, I am now a master rank. Uh, it's definitely going to be a lot of fun. Dark is on the server, as you guys saw, but he is not joining the call at the moment. He is busy doing whatever it is that he's doing. So, um, you see the hotel, right, guys? Well, it's finished. It's done. It's out of the way. Uh, it's open for rent and stuff like that. Uh, it, it's definitely... Something that we're proud of, like, I'm really proud of it, Dark's really proud of it. it it's nice. Um, so let's give you the full tour of it now that it's done before we get right into the episode, because I always want to update you guys on what we've been building. So here would be the front entrance. He's replaced the other pillars with actual pil uh, pillars, right? And you guys see my fountain as we walk in, my beautiful interior design, which really isn't that beautiful. Um... And replace all the pillars with this, so except for the ones right here, because that looks really good. Uh, here's the check-in desk. You ask us, we give you permissions to go into the rooms and stuff like that. Uh, and then you come up here. I'm not done up here. I kind of want to build something right in this area. But it's a work in progress. You got the first floors, which has eight rooms on each side, I believe. And then... Oh, shit, too far. This is the ones that we have built uh, just for... You guys, for people who are willing to pay extra overnights and stuff like that. Okay, so what is it? It's a balcony. There's two balconies. This one is just looking over. You can see the gym from here. Um, yeah, we pretty much plan on building... I, I, I'm building my own gym. Um, I was doing it just for fun, but, you know... It, it turned out to be... Like, I really like the design of it. Alright, so now let's go out here, and I will show you guys the view out here. It's a little bit better because there's nothing when you look up but the roof. But it's it shows most of the claim. I think I need to turn up my render distance in order for that to be... Uh, I always go for 11. And then that should load everything but the town hall not over there. Uh, let's go ahead and make it to where you guys can see that then, huh? It's it's definitely nice. Like he up he did a little bit more to the gym for our team gym right there. Uh, for just fair warning for you guys that do stay here, um, clay fairies are a big problem right now. We can't figure out how to get them to go away. Uh, I'm thinking about repels, but you know. I'll go up and close that later. And then Dark is starting to work on the roof uh, with vending machines and stuff. You got your little view. You got your little umbrella. Uh, you got a vending machine. They do work. They're amazing. Um, but now... Oh, another thing that happened since last time, guys, is we now have a Battle Bond Greninja. Uh, it's definitely going to help a lot, a lot in my gym. I like it. It's pretty freaking cool if you ask me. Um, I, I'm trying to figure out how to get the uh, thing to record the sounds and stuff like that for the video recording software. 
I might start using a different one, but at the same time, guys, uh, I really like this one. It's been nice. And so, as you guys can see, here is the overtop view of the gym, if I can get up there. Oh, great, server reboot in 10 minutes. But, as you guys can see, he's done more to it. Uh, the green represents Venusaur, red uh, represents Charizard, and the blue down there represents Blastoise. Uh, or at least that's how he explained it to me with his building design. Oh, hi Magikarp. Uh, so, as you guys can see, that's two buildings out of the way that have been updated. Um, so, there's something over here that I don't know if you guys noticed, but... Dark built, like, a little campfire area, and I have a getting ready to breed a Lolo Pokemon. So, that's the thing. Uh, he still hasn't messed with my tree too much. It's right here. Th this tree is beautiful. I love it. He, uh, tried to shut down my shop. And this is the precious block. We must always bounce on it. It's a very precious block. Excuse me, sir. You want to come into the village? Did I break this yet? No, I do not. The eyesore is still not going to go away, man. And it's really kind of irritating because it really is an eyesore. Like, we want to expand over that way and make things look nicer. But the only problem doing that is it won't let us because, oh boy... I think he hops on like once in a while and then completely and utterly forgets about it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to beat this guy because we have the amulet coin on Salamance and it gives us more for our bang. Um, so now for the final build uh, that we could show you guys. Uh, it's not done. Uh, we are having a new person move into the village. So, that's going to be nice. Uh, they're actually moving in as a permanent residence as part of the as part of the crew. Here is Dark's Town Hall build. Um, it definitely is nice. Residence, Dark and JC Wolfsbane. <laughs> it's me. But, uh, the guy who's moving in, we gave him a little plot of land right out here. Um, we just got to build it for him and give him a little house. Uh, so that'll be a thing. Now, uh, we're gonna head over to home B2. So, here is this. If you guys remember right, last time I did the last time you were here, the house was broken. Um, the house is no longer broken. I took the time to fully repair it. I installed this. I built this right here. No oh, darks up there. It must be hatching eggs. It's an automatic. It's a lazy man egg hatcher up there. Uh, these dittos all have eggs. I've been selling them. So for when you guys get on and you guys start making money, if you guys want gambler eggs, as I call them, it, they're definitely for sale. Um, I repaired my garage doors and I also added a little something over here in the corner. See, you jump and it doesn't do anything, right? Push shift. We have our furnace wall. We have our storage. Uh, I built all this in like 30 minutes. I got bored. And then I noticed that the... I'll show you outside. This side of my house over here has this big open area. So I was curious and I opened up the wall. And now instead of just having this little area right here, we also have this one. I made this little design into the wall. Uh, our photos of all our beloved Pokemon, R.I.P. Mega Mewtwo, by the way. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and then for the big surprise, slash home B3. So, it's not done yet. Still a work in progress, a big work in progress at that. Um, but, let me just repair the land right here so that way the grass grows over even and it doesn't bug me. That was just me clearing out the path. Uh, so this right here is going to be like a little archway with uh, Pokemon, with with healers and stuff like that. Um, and PCs, so that way you guys can use them outside. And then as you come in, this is the battle arena for my gym. It's a Z-type move gym only. We got fish tanks on the side. We got 
you know, why the Pokemon do you spawn there? The most common one I've seen is Magikarp. This one right here, you have to be accurate. You have to go like this. And here are the stands. So you guys just sit in here and watch the battle take place. This guardrail is here. Yes, you can jump over it, but please don't. Be much appreciated. And then, yeah, this is pretty much this. Um, I'm going to give you guys an aerial view real quick. And, uh, yeah, let's... So, the, it says gym, the M's off, I know. Please don't hate me. Uh, so, it, it's, it's definitely something new for me because I built it all by myself. Uh, Sniper helped with resources, but that's about all he helped with. Uh, I, I built most of it. Well, I built all of it, and uh, it's all claimed, so no one can get into it without my permission. It's definitely a good investment for our future videos, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to record in there with gym battles. We are actually in the middle of nowhere on purpose, so that way we can build a little town of our own, maybe. Some random guy's house. He, uh, he hasn't been on in a long time, so people raided it. Aw, that's cute. Oh my god, that's wool. Where's my shears? I don't have shears. Server reset in four minutes. Baka. Baka to you, sir. But, guys, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much that. Uh, server reset's about to go and happen, so... We're gonna, you know... We're going to wait for that. Uh, I don't like the fact that that's uneven. That's going to bug the shit out. Oh, there I went. Did one spawn? There it is. Look, 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 look. Look at this majestic beast. It's a Magikarp. Hi, Magikarp. Um, so, yeah. So, today's episode is really just, you know... I, I really don't know. Probably working on a little bit more build there in the village. Or, you know, going around finding abandoned bases, like, people that abandon their bases, and then we just pop up and go like this, go like, ooh, look, ten string, three bones, and one piece of wool. All these resources, people don't think they're really helpful, but I know they're helpful, I love them. It's amazing. So, guys, uh, yeah, um, also, at slash home b2, right? Uh, I started working on something else here. I completely forgot to show you guys. Um, so, I started working on this over here. This little area. Ooh, getting it all leveled out. My goal is to have this entire mountain rage claim devs when I'm done. So guys, I will see you guys after server reset, and we will hop right into today's video. Hey guys, and what is up? So this is part two of that episode. Uh, so, I'm sorry guys, I got really tired. I was recording this late at night, so now we're back at it again. Um, right back into the next morning, gonna finish out this episode. So I haven't put much thought into what I want to do today. I want to get your you guys' opinion. Do we really uh, like? I, I kind of want to start a series on the story mode, starting from Kento, Gento, and go up, you know, like that. Uh, but I want to know what you guys think first. Uh, so leave a comment down below on what you guys would you guys like see more survival, or would you like, guys like me to start something like that and get all up in there for you guys and have fun. So let's get right into the, today's episode. So. I think today is really just going to be hatching eggs and stuff like that. Like, honestly. Because um, all these guys have eggs. Slash PC. Gonna throw you up in there. Throw a battle bond to grow ninja. See, right here is all my mega evolutions that I can do. RIP Mega Mewtwo still. Um, still sad about that. <laughs> still makes me what it got. Let's check the IVs on these guys first before we decide to do anything at all. Because I like the survival aspect of this. Slash IVS. 3. 37. Oof. 50%. That's better. 44. Ugh. 6. 
Ah, those are all really bad. Slash PC. Let's go ahead and throw this one up in there. And that one up in there. Because we, we might work on hatching one of these 60 ones. Alright, so, uh, slash IVS3. 47. Dear God. Alright, so it's between the last two on which ones we hatch. Um, slash hatch 6. Oh my God, that's so bad. See, everybody's trying to get perfects on the server, so, you know, that's not really much of a perfect. So now we're going to stock up our inventory of these guys right here. Uh, so that way they're hatchable, you know, stuff like that. Um, we're going to take off this, and we're going to throw on a lucky egg onto you, because that helps a lot. Uh, we have five rare candies, actually, if we really wanted to uh, do this right here. 62, 63, 64, 65. Ooh, extreme speed. That one's definitely better than quick attack, but at the same time. Yeah, we'll do it. Uh, 66. We're so close to having our Lucario up where we want him at, uh, up towards the parts that we want him at. Um, so, today's episode is literally just going to be leveling up our Pokemon, um, which mainly just involves maybe going to the grinder spot or maybe just staying in the area here. And uh, going from there, this is Dark Skull Abode. I'm pretty sure we've covered that in an episode, though. Uh, we're going to try fishing here, see what happens. Oh my god, it's raining. Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. Oh, one of these is already going to be really bad. It's already hatching. Uh. Uh. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this going on. Ooh. Went to bar screen. Let's try extreme speed. I mean, hey, one shot kill anyone? Yeah, this isn't going to be a good spot. There's not very many high levels, so let's go slash home B3. So, you guys know what this is, because you guys seen it yes, uh, well, the recording yesterday, so not really going to mess with that too much. <sighs> Shut up. You guys are annoying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, Polyrath. Uh, close combat. Well, poly world, not a poly wrath. All right, so what are you? Oh, this is somebody's little abode. Uh, I think today is mainly probably, and all I'm thinking about it, going to be catching Pokemon that we don't have, ones that are worth catching, um, ones that'll help perfect our team, and one that just happens to be out here in the snow. Uh, so that should be a lot of fun. We're going to hash all these eggs on today's episode, too, so be prepared for a long one. Uh, it's definitely going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to enjoy doing it. I hope you guys will enjoy seeing it. And we're going to drop that. We don't want that. I already have plenty of iron. If I really wanted it. Sorry, Lucario. I ain't got none. Not for sale, anyway. Hey, look at this. This is pretty cute. <gasps> it's abandoned. What does it have in it? Of snow, that wasn't what I was looking for. There's a cub chew. That one could be good for a bear tick, uh, but at the same time, you know, probably not worth it. What is this? And we're running, running, and running, and running, and running. My bad. Jesus, you didn't get very far on this. I thought you would have got farther. Like, honestly. Where are you? Level 68 trainer? hi -ya! We're gonna do close combat. Oh, Jesus. Aha! 67 already. Mankey, close combat! 67, Dark Pulse! 
Well, Dragon Pulse isn't that? Oh, that's Dragon Pulse, it's not Dark Pulse. I'm sorry, I just butchered that. Yeah, it's Dragon Pulse. And Aura Sphere. And he's out of here! Noise Slash. Poke. This is why I like the rank. I, I'm really supportive to the people that donated uh, to, for us to be able to get our ranks and stuff like that. Um, because our, our last rank was donated, which really, really made me happy. Can I say drop it? Drop it. Thank you. What is my connection on the server? I have full bars. I don't know why I wouldn't drop it. Dang it. Where you at, friend? Because we're trying to get one with good IVs and stuff like that. Um, so really, in all today, all reality, all we're doing is grinding out. That's pretty much all we would be doing on our, on any uh, story mode. We'd be grinding out, trying to get up higher levels to battle the gems and finish off the gem series. Um, I definitely enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. I mean, I play Kinto in my free time whenever I'm bored uh, and really don't have anything to grind out on for that day. Ew, why'd you give me cobblestone? I'm not saying cobblestone's bad, I'm just saying I don't want it. But anyway, oh my gosh. Oh yeah, you'd be a worthy opponent. Come here. You're the smallest pineal swine I've seen in a while, though. Forest here. Oh, you got one down. Stream speed. Because my gym, uh, yeah, it's going to definitely have, um, it's definitely going to have some stuff going on. Ooh, vanilla -ish. Like, it, I really want to get back into building the village more, but now that we have a house, it's like kind of been put off and more renovations have been made for the house. Um, me and Dark are really just kind of getting bored but at the same time it's definitely gonna be nice when we can do all the stuff that we want to do what in the world is this is this claimed no it's not what is this someone trying to build something like skyrim so this is why we keep dirt on us what in the world? Why can't I place this? I mean, someone has that part claimed. So you got that part claimed, but you ain't got any of the else of this claimed, huh? Okay. Makes kind of a little bit of sense, but at the same time, not really. What is IBS? Uh, Forty-seven percent. So whatever comes out of this is probably gonna be really bad. I mean, uh, mine Lucario's bond is pretty far up. I actually want to check what is mine and Salamance's bond at. Two ten. Okay, so for me riding him and all that stuff that I do with him, it's definitely shot up a lot. Um, if you guys could let me down, know down in the comments, how does mending work? Like, I've looked it up and I still don't understand it. It'd be nice if someone could tell me how it worked because I'm still confused on it. Okay, that's it. We're gonna focus on hatching a sake real quick. Because now it's bugging me. And the way to do that is... Fly! Why did you... Oh, I didn't have it on. That might have helped, huh? I enjoy the Electra. I'm like, it brings a lot of fun to what I do. Well, that's a mountain. Actually, if this is Extreme Hills, we might just start grinding them out here. 
What is this? Extreme Hills, yeah. I like Extreme Hills. Extreme Hills likes me. Pokemans, where are you? So oh my gosh, what are you? Pretty sure you have a thing called self destruct, but we're gonna stop that before it happens. Shiny stone? Yuck. Get out of here. Hi, Shuckle. Hey, hey. I don't know why I would ever need a shiny stone. Oh yeah, guys, you know when server reset and you got your donor key or your vote key? What is this? Santa isn't real. Oh my gosh. They be lying. Santa's amazing. I refuse to grow up. I don't care what y'all say. I'm a grown man baby and that's just how I like it this electro is going to piss me off I think we just hold it in our off hand while we do something let me try this see if this how this works because I want to see if this is how mending works Oh my god. Seventy one. Go. <laughs> Let's try this. Extreme speed. Oh Jesus. Yeah, we definitely got a lot of stuff going for us. Extreme speed. Close combat. <laughs> Alright, so I didn't know about this until the first time I actually ever attempted to jump off spawn. Um, there's a way to do it. How do I do it? Have up here, have up here, and... Down we go, boys! Aim for the one of all! Oh... A mural, that's actually, I might actually be pretty useful. Oh dear god, I am so sorry guys. For anyone who heard that. So, let's get this cobblestone out of here. Sell four of it. Sell that. Sell my two apples, because I'm not going to use them. Sell 24 dirt. Just free up inventory space for selling a lot of shit. Uh, fresh waters. And a bug gym. Now that cleared up quite a lot. So now we're going to go to one of the actually slash home. So I want to see if this is how this works, okay? I'm back at the village here. Uh, I want to see if this works the way I think it does. Okay. Okay. How does mending work? Like, I think I'm doing it right, but at the same time, I'm not quite so sure. That's what I'm asking. Girl, how's it work? Don't laugh at me. Oh, it does work the way I think it does. <gasps> Slash PC. Um, we all go in here for a second. Uh, me too. Where are you, bud? All right, let's try and take this bad boy on. 
That's a legendary boss. You're coming with me, friend. Hyper Beam! It doesn't affect Sableye. Oof! Bane attack. Jesus. Thunder Punch! Oh, that didn't do much. Uh, Salamance. Uh, Flamethrower! Oh, there we go. That's starting to do something. Alright, uh, let's go ahead. Zen Headbutt! It doesn't affect Sable, I go figure. He's gonna keep using Faint Attack, but he doesn't realize that Salamance isn't really affected by that. Dragon Claw. Faint Attack. A couple more Flamethrowers should do the job. I didn't expect to come down here and see that. So, Flamethrower again. He's faint. Oh, shit. Extreme speed. That doesn't affect Sableye. No. Forest Fear. That doesn't affect Sableye. No. We got one more shot at this. Uh, Dark Pulse. Oh! We got him. We got a rare candy and we got a plate and a cloud. Wow. So heal slash PC. Alright, Mewtwo, thank you. That's pretty much all Mewtwo is used for nowadays. Not gonna lie and be like, no, we use it for everything. No, we really don't. So let's go down this cavern. Awesome. So As you guys can see, I've done a lot. Um, I get bored, and I'll just come down here and completely and utterly just mess up everything. Um, is Dark get annoyed with it? Probably. Do I get annoyed with it? Yeah. Because <sighs> it really does quite annoy me, the fact that I do all this. Alright, so that's fully mended. So, slash home. Slash WB. Yeah, throw all of this into blocks. We're gonna get. Oh my god, that that just irritated the shit out of me for no freaking reason. I hate it when it does that. Like I get super irritated with that for no reason. Like I'll drag it and it won't do what I want it to do, so it really irritates me. Nineteen blocks exactly. So now it's pulse go away. Why you no work? Okay, there it goes. It's like what the hell? Okay, so there's another lucky egg. Um, I don't know if it's capturing a game sound, but if it is, I am so sorry if you guys get annoyed with this. Like I get really annoyed with it. Throw some seeds in there, throw all just bull crap in there. Like all this stuff that we don't need that's on us for no reason and it really irritates me. Like that, 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 that. Some melon seeds in there. I don't even know why we have crafting table when we have slash WB. Uh, food down the hot bar, throw that in there. Tyron balls over here. This right here. See, because I always try and keep my inventory somewhat organized. So, if I do slash E chest, where's one with all the books? Yeah, I don't have any in that one. Maybe I have some mending downstairs. So I might be able to save my favorite pickaxe here. Enchanted books? No. Enchanted books? No. Enchanted books? Yes. Any mending? No. Any unbreaking? No. Uh, do we have any books just lying around? is my next question. Ow. Smack my head every time I do that. A 
kind of want to hide one of those in somebody's house just to be that person. But at the same time, I'm not that mean. Blue shards. These do what I think they do, right? Yeah! We almost completed that little guy. Uh, just because I used up uh, the five rare candies, I'm going to be nice to Dark. Because I know Dark watches this. Hi, Dark! And I'm going to throw that in there. Dark watches to see what I do when he's not on. I don't blame him. Street speed! Gotta go fast. <laughs> Gotta go fast. <laughs> I can't. What time is it? Oh, it's 7.14. I gotta get my summer radio soon. Gotta go to the babysitter. What do you mean? <laughs> Oh my god, you weren't the biggest ratataz I've ever seen. Hey, I said let's go. <laughs> We're going this way. <laughs> I always try and hop on when there's nobody really on. If I can do that, yeah, can't. I DM it. <laughs> yeah, you can't say anything about that. So let's whisper day. It is J C Wolf's thing. Alright, I want to be this person that does this because this is a really nice house and I really like it and we can expand the village here one day. Uh, no one has this claimed. Everybody's pretty much wiped it out, so... Oh, it already is claimed. So he did claim it. I like that. I like that he finally claimed it. I was going to claim it for him. Uh, speaking of which, shout out to you. Uh, glad that you finally got back on and got your house back. Um, you need anything, just message me and I'll be more than glad to help. Uh, eventually the village will be expanding over that way though. So I'd just be sure to stay active and try and work something out with me and Dark. Uh, what in the world? Everyone's pretty much wiped this out, huh? Yeah. Sad. Like, no one gave this person any privacy, and I'm probably not going to either, because this is a bunch of wool. And I like wool, and wool likes me. Ponyard! How you doing, friend? I need some iron. You'd be so nice. Flamethrower! Yeah, you are that nice. Thanks, bud. See, I love how I said today's episode is probably just going to be us grinding out, but in all reality, look what we're doing. They're breeding dittos, probably. Do I have anything to make out of? Maybe like an axe or anything? Because that takes forever. What is this? Oh. Sugarcane, baddies, pokebas, no. Values. 
food, eh, wood, eh, random chest, I like this guy, <laughs> random chest, apricorns, mining, ooh, dark would definitely appreciate some of these, especially with all the building that he does, at least I hope he will, you never know, I don't think I've ever been here though, the chest all the way to the top of here with nothing in it. Alright, down here I go, and now down to this one. Anything in the furnaces? Like, no one ever checks the furnaces. Yeah, I think I've mentioned that a couple times. I mean, I wanted all that wool. I still do. Slash, WB. Can't make a wool. I can't make a shovel on any of this. So let's go ahead and take that. There we go. Slash WB. And now let's go ahead and one, two. I want all that wool, but the fencing would be nice too. So we're going to go ahead and try and get that. Um, Jesus, it's been a long time since I've made some wooden tools. See, now it's going a little bit faster. I mean, we might go uh, to Seal's base and go prank him. <laughs> Seal, if you're watching this, just know note blocks are my favorite prank. So, you see note blocks just randomly appear on your property, you know that that was me. Like, I love how nobody ever thinks to take the wool and stuff. What in the world was that? <gasps> Horn cross boss! Hi ya! Flamethrower! Oh, Jesus. Flamethrower! It's super effective. Fly! Alright, I flew up. Salamence so with the attack. Fly! Yeah! Oh yeah, Mega Horn Cross. Hey! No, I want that. Give me that. Like, that scared the shit out of me. Like, I thought I was like a legendary Pokemon just spawned on top of me. <laughs> that or something that the admin spawned in to freaking kill me or something like that. That actually scared me. Bacon's a good guy. I like him. He definitely helps out a lot. Shout out to you, Bacon, if you ever find me on YouTube and stuff like that. Then you go back to these days, because probably by then you, you won't see this very often. Not unless you guys like seeing it, and then we'll just continue with the series for as long as you guys want to see it, so. And I love when people leave the server. This is why when people uh, get on, if you guys ever hop on and you guys see me in chat say, please stay... This is why, because then if it's unclaimed as admin rules. So let me show you guys. So, Bacon, uh, what the rules for F face is unclaimed. This will show you guys right here. Just watch down there in the chat. He's probably going to pop up here soon. And if he doesn't, you know, hey, it was worth a shot to show you guys that this is completely fair game. If you guys hop off uh, for a long extended period of time, you don't hop back on, well, then the base gets claimed out, unclaimed after two weeks of inactivity. Then it is fair game. C-O-R-R-E-C-T, correct? Just to show you guys, so that way you guys don't think I'm bullshit, you guys. It is fair game. As Bacon has just said down there in chat, I am correct. It is fair game. Um, so when you guys see me doing something like this, if you guys know whose base it is, one of your friends, and you tell them about it, they are they can get mad. 
but at the same time, there shouldn't be any reason to get mad. They should have stayed on, and oh my god, this person was completely dumb about this. Sorry, whoever's base this is, but you don't play it over water. Not unless you're trying to get a low-end Pokemon. And... Jesus, uh, we're out of space. Uh, bye-bye, Aluminum, because you're not really too useful to me. So, like Bacon just said, guys, if you guys leave your base for an extended period of time, it becomes fair game to whoever wants it, whoever wants what anything is in it. And my obsession just happens to be breeding dittos, so when I see a base that's unclaimed with wool, and knowing that all dittos need to breed is wool, uh, yeah, that's when things start turn around for me, and they go downhill for you. Uh, do I feel bad about doing it? I mean, at the beginning, I used to feel bad about raiding bases, but not anymore. Uh, it doesn't really get under my skin as much as it did when I first did it. Um, he probably killed a shiny. I'm ready for this. No, he just wants to be banned. Oh, also, b suck. Oh, <gasps> Jesus Christ, slash poke. P -O -K heal slash PC. <laughs> Come on, Mewtwo, let's find another boss. Dear God, there's just plenty of them today, huh? Flamethrower. Jesus, flamethrower. Yeah. Uh, Zen Headbutt, because you are a Psychic type. And now we're gonna fly really high up, and we're gonna smack down on you. Oh, she avoided the attack. Oh! Oh! We got it, boys! Uh, so let's take that, let's take that, let's take that, and drop the rest. So, let's get rid of these note blocks, um... Get rid of this iron ingot, and that should be that. See, Dark, this is why you need to be on whenever I'm doing this stuff, uh, because we end up getting a lot of stuff. Slash home B3, no, slash home B2 is what I want. Alright, so let's go to the garage, and let's start throwing mega stones in. Uh, dirt, rare items, so... Yeah, there it is. Uh, horn cross. Oh, dude, I thought we left it. I was legit a boss to cry. Oh, my gosh. Like, I legitimately thought we just left that there. I'm going to turn all this into polished for dark. Because I have a chest specifically in my house for him. <laughs> so he could just come in, grab whatever he needs, and then go from there. Um, so you can see this back chest right here. This is all just for dark for when he decides to build stuff. Uh, this part isn't filled up because I took some of it to build my own build. Um, hand aside, die like cobble, gravel. So, yeah, we definitely have more than enough stuff to do what we want to do for some time. Alright, so let's see. Uh, why are you in there? You should be in here. Oh, cobble goes in there. Stone goes in there. Wooden stuff. So, let's go and throw these fences in a row and throw that in there. And then, that's all that. And now, <laughs> rare items. Don't, don't yell at me for this, but uh, wool is super rare on this server. Like, if you have an abundance of it, you can make a bunch of money off it because pe people are starting to get into ditto breeding. Uh, heal items, is, that's glass. 
That's glass. There's those. Uh, yeah, let's start throwing stuff in here. And two red candies, which means we need to go slash home. Dark, I've almost already replaced what I used. <laughs> but, so let's throw that in there. Oh my god, that's a like spike. Jesus Christ. Slash PC. Alright, me too. Have a wonderful day, bud. We didn't even need you for that one. I didn't realize that. Uh, so let's go ahead and go slash home B3 and let's go from here and let's explore some stuff and take that off throw that up there all right now so I have explored in that direction I've explored in that direction so let's go ahead and go this direction over here Oh, there's a... Oh, yeah, that's, uh... This is secret of Mewtwo's house. Uh... Ooh, that's something that I need. Oh, I came in too fast. Slash home B3. Let's go, Salamence! So now we go like this, and then open hand. Try and get these three eggs to hatch. Someone's been messing with this over here. Hmm. Bidoof. I hate bidoofs. Sound all wow. Say that. Oh my god, we just hatched really bad Pokemon slash PC. Okay, so I have Vanellish. I have that. Alright, now let's go put Psyduck in his new home. Alright, let's start another batch. Huh. So let's do slash IVS three fifty five percent slash IVS four oh thirty six IVS five slash IVS six so which one was it? Uh fifty five percent was slash IVS three yeah slash hatch three Slash H A T C H three. Oh baby, that's what's up. Now see, now I don't have to even mess with my Oshawa unless my Oshawa's better. A D what? A D what? <laughs> D what? Who'd you say? <laughs> I know I'm bad. I'm bad, and I know it. I accept this. There's three bosses. Hold it and press K. Hey guys, by the way, if you guys hop on and you guys do that, it will bring you to new stuff, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, it brings you to the wiki. Pokemon Wiki, if it's a, it needs to be for a Pokemon, and the other one is for some is for another one. Uh, so yeah, it's it's loads of fun. Stone Sword, 
I don't know why you would need a stone sword when everything here is just beautiful and no one has to no one has PvP. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like PvP service. RT. This is what admins do when someone has uh, messed up. Watch this. This is amazing. I love when admins do this. I hate watching people get this, but at the same time, it's it's well deserved. It really is because we've established the rules of the server. One of the big rules is that we are not allowed to have AFK pools. Anything that prevents you from getting kicked by an admin well, get kicked by the uh, stuff like that is not allowed. It's nowhere near allowed. It's not okay. None of us accept it. We all get pretty mad when we see it. Um, because it's supposed to be an interactive community. It's not supposed to be us just going out and just sitting AFK like it would be with factions. Factions, it's okay because, you know, you're constantly guarding your base. And if there isn't one member on at least all times, people can still raid your base. So, yeah. Miss it? No, we didn't. They had a back exit. Oh, okay. Yeah? <laughs> what? Needed another sign. <laughs> yeah, am I good? No, I'm thinking. <laughs> See, this is loads of fun. I, I love finding these because it helps the community realize that we're not supposed to do that. Would you guys shut up up there? I mean, I love doing all this stuff. Um, I definitely enjoy... What in the world were you trying to... PC. Oh no, slash and B A T T L E slash P O K heel 
fourth. Fast. Flamethrower! Ow! Fly! Oof. We died. Mewtwo! <laughs> Piper Beam! Oh, that doesn't affect Sable. We were just over this too, aren't we? Drain Punch! Doesn't affect Sable. GG! Cool. Uh, Lucario! Uh, close Combat! Doesn't affect Sable. So this Pokio. Uh, let's see. So, let's start out with Mewtwo. Get some damage done on him. And then... Thunder Punch. Oh, yeah, he's paralyzed. That's gonna help a lot. Dream Punch. Doesn't affect Sableye. Thunder Punch. Super effective. Uh, so now let's bring this guy out. Uh, Flamethrower. Eventually it'll become too paralyzed to move. Dragon Claw. Zen Headbutt. Doesn't affect Sable. Go figure. He's paralyzed, cannot move. Dragon Claw. Alright, now we're going to get Lucario up in here, and Lucario, Dragon Pulse. And he one-shot me, great. So, uh, why is Lucario out first? Uh, Dragon Pulse. Shadow Ball. Mewtwo, um... Thunder Punch. Why? Dragon Claw. Dude, this is gonna be bad if we can't get him. Please don't two shot. Oh! Dragon Claw! Yeah! Slash Pokeo, and I'll be right back.